Welcome to sunny Malta. Today is a beautiful day and we just had the second uh, rehearsal, the run-through of the 20 contestants that are at the semi-final of the Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2015. Now David, what do you think of the rehearsal so far? Well, the rehearsals this morning have gone very well indeed. And in fact, at one stage, they were running early, which is amazing for any Eurovision contest. So I think the director is running a very tight ship here in uh, Malta. <laughs> but we, we heard then from the press center this fantastic upbeat song, Breakaway. And we thought, wow, we have to go and watch it. And that's what Absolutely. we did. And we, we, we saw actually something very extraordinary on the, on the scene, on the stage, was a ring dancer. And this his name is Francis yes. from, from Canada. Mm -hmm. And then, Chris, we chatted to you before uh, you're doing the, with the dance group. Your group is called? Uh, Southville Dancers. South? Southville Dancers. Southville Dancers. So let's start with Francis a bit. How, how did you get into this Eurovision craze for Malta? Well, I've, I've met Glenn and we talked about uh, because I'm a performer, so he's seen what I was doing mm -hmm. and he sent me what he was doing and we discussed about the, the contest and everything and finally we decided to work together for, for this this big TV show, you know. So. But that's uh, mm -hmm. but Eurovision is something that is not really known in Canada, or did it's you hear not, about that? Before? Yeah, it's not very popular. I mean, we don't see it on on the screen, but I've heard about it a lot and very often. So I know I know how big it is. I know I know a lot of people are watching it, and I, I've definitely uh, heard about it before, you know. Now, can you describe what you are ex exactly doing on stage? Uh, so. In your, during the performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I perform in a wheel. It's a, it's like a big ring in which is a bit bigger than me. And I just spin in it and I'm I'm spinning around uh, Glenn and in the back. So I'm I'm putting a bit of movement around around him during uh, during his singing. So. Well, I've been covering the Malta Eurovision Song Contest and we've never seen this before in, 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 throughout the years. But Chris, you've been dancing to, with quite some numbers of, of the uh, Malta Eurovision Song Contest together with your, your dance team. Uh, last year, Dan Daniel Testa, now, okay. now Glenn. How did this come up? Um, basically, um, Glenn contacted me. Um, uh, he told me that obviously he was seeing my choreographies throughout the years as well and he wanted something different and uh, more acrobatic and energetic for his uh, song and he, want, he really wanted us to do to join his team and I was really happy about it because I knew Glenn even from One Life and we had the, time, the chance as well to, to perform in his music video in One Life so um, when he contacted me I told him yes not a problem for me and uh, we started right, directly right away working on the breakaway. <laughs> so how long did it take for you to rehearse your part of the dancing? It was a bit difficult because, as you know, I had the Junior Eurovision uh, shows. Now I have another two shows in the Motor Eurovision Song Contest as well. Um, but we managed to find at least twice a week rehearsals during, uh, during the last couple of, like, a month and a half. So you mentioned two, two performances in the Motor Eurovision. So yes. which one is the other one? Yes, so we have one on Friday and one on Saturday. Wow, so okay, you, you're doing the opening act or, or? Not the opening act, we have a, an, a show with one of them, it's with actually, it's the biggest number, there's uh, 65 dancers and all, Wow. one of it is on Friday, and the other one is going to be on Saturday, it's, uh, it's a more tribal part. Okay, so, and, and will you be part of the of uh, another act inside this competition? Another act? No, yeah, no, no, for the so moment, just, just for the plan, okay. yeah, just for the plan. Franz, how did you get into show business? I mean, I'm guessing that you possibly started with gymnastics or acrobatics or something. So tell us about it. Actually, yeah, I did gymnastics for a very, very, very long time. And then I went into a circus school in Montreal in Canada. It's uh, the National Circus School, which is the biggest circus school. And I did it for five years. So there I got, uh, I got my discipline. I, I went, I had a lot of, of classes and uh, and after that, I was able to start my career. So, so that's where the showbiz training came yes, in, into the... It is, Presumably, yeah. you'd been in competitions for uh, gymnastics. Yes, before. yes. So, so what disciplines were you doing in gymnastics? I mean, I was doing everything. Uh, the I don't know how you call it, but it's like the floor, the, the horse, everything. I was doing gymnastic acrobatics, so that I, I got used to like spinning and stuff like that. And then when I switched into circus, it was easy to because I did like a very physical circus uh, training. So then it was easy to just switch and keep going. You know. So uh, were you winning medals in competitions when you were younger? Yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, were yeah. You competing on a national basis or just locally? Or? Uh, national, yeah. National. I won, oh, yeah, right. yeah. So. Did and you then, actually and then, represent your country at all? I didn't. I didn't went that far. I, 
uh, at some point I I decided like I wanted to to make this sport more um, more like a living way it's I was less interested into the competition at some point I wanted to work in that with that so that's why I switched into uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now for the radio listeners we're joined by the singer the, Glenn Vella, the lead vocalist and the songwriter oh, Kevin it? Kevin Borge <laughs> we just Sorry. Kevin, we love this we just, <laughs> we, we just heard it. we just heard Francis voice from outside yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Francis here. <laughs> so, so how was the spirit in the team how you had the second rehearsal today how did that go Fantastic, I must say. It was nice. I really enjoyed myself and sharing the stage with these it's, it's amazing, super talented people. So we see you I'm smiling all over the way, all over the face, yes. and that's of Kevin as well. So it, it, could it be a victory for Malta? I don't know, but it looks not like for you. I mean, not for Malta. I don't know, but but I mean, it looks like they're having so much fun on stage. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing it from another perspective, from down under, and it looks like they they're enjoying themselves. So that's the important thing for me, you know. But two years ago, you were singing yourself. Yes. Now, that, don't you want to go back and sing yourself again? No, no. This time, it's another kind of adventure. You know, mm. I'm enjoying myself more than ever before, and I'm I'm so glad to be a part of this team. And Amazing. It's, yeah. it's it's great to be here. These are, these guys are just. Then <laughs> so, so you, you selected you selected Chris's uh, um, yeah, exactly. dance dance will dance yes. right before I actually submitted the song <laughs> I, uh, I must say I really wanted him and and his team to be part mm. of our song and before I actually submitted the song um, I had in mind that that I want I wanted break dancers and I just asked them listen I'm gonna submit this song are you available just in case we'll make it and he said like. Uh, let me check, you know, they, they were involved in, in the junior, so they were very, you know, stressed mm. and their hair and, and everything. What, but he said yes. And we said like, okay, then we submit the song. Fantastic. <laughs> now, and then, of course, you, you, you selected one particular part of the performance, Francis from Canada. How did you find him? Thanks to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube is our uh, common friend. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't go to Canada, you said. Uh, no, <laughs> I did, eh, six years ago, but not for, for, for Francis. <laughs> true, so it's, you, you it's, it's true, yeah. YouTube. We, uh, we, we were like, uh, we wanted to have something, you know, dancing, but mm. in, in a different style and this, this kind of stuff. And we searched for this, si si how do you say it in French? Uh, the, the, the sear wheel. Uh, sear in English, wheeler, uh, you know, uh, sear, sear wheeler. Yeah. And I saw him on YouTube and I said, like, oh my God, no. I, I really like it. It looks fantastic. Well. It really looks fantastic. And uh, is there any risk for you doing this on stage? I mean, yes, of course. It's uh, <laughs> That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm working hard on concentration, you know? Because <laughs> uh, obviously it can be dangerous, yes. It's very dangerous because I. I, I <laughs> He's in the middle of Yes, I gotta be careful uh, to Glenn, you know? I think Glenn is the, the one that has the biggest fear on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I managed to go in front of him last time and, and I did it with him. And as soon as I started, I started shouting, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> he got dizzy. <laughs> it's true. Keep out of the way. No, don't forget the joke. So, Glenn, the next thing we need to know is whether you've had a go on the hula hoop, as I call it. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Have you had a go on the big wheel? I did with him. Ah. Not on stage, eh? <laughs> it's very dangerous to do it. But you brought the wheel with you from Canada, or, or, how, or did you buy it here? No, I, I brought it from Canada. So where, where did, how did how do you yeah, package it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's actually it's actually five pieces that oh, makes the wow. wheel, and I just break them apart and put them together. It's very easy to, to transfer by plane. Like so. the magic stick, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he boards the plane with it. <laughs> so, yeah. I've just been rolling all the way here, you know? <laughs> over the waters, over the waters. <laughs> but now now for 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 you, Chris, um, would that animate you to do something similar with your dance group? It's, it's something nice. Obviously, there's a lot of training and. How, how Francis was saying, it's, it's something really energetic and you need physical strength as well. But uh, it's, uh, there's a con sort of connection to breakdancing as well. That breakdancing, um, there's some movements that uh, incorporate gymnastics as well in them. So we, we might try and try to start doing something like that maybe. <laughs> While well, you've got the expert here, it's uh, time yeah. to get some lessons in, Chris, I think. <laughs> some workshops. <laughs> Now, you have done all the rehearsals you could do. You have been on the second uh, run-through today. 
how will you prepare yourself now more for this, for Friday night? You're still going to go back to the rehearsal room or you just say, that's enough. We now calm down and just have a good dinner and I, go. That's what I do. Now, we did our, our job. Our rehearsal, we are like more than, how do you say it? Um, happy, happy, you know, prepared. and mm. well prepared. So my next thing now is that I go and sleep and I rest, you know, I pamper myself. <laughs> you know, our job is done. Then next, we're looking forward for tomorrow morning for, for the run and obviously for the show. Fantastic. Let's go and Woo! <laughs> You'll be wheeling in on the red carpet, I guess, yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry? You'll be wheeling in on the red carpet. Yes, I'll be, yes, yeah. I'll be. <laughs> you smear <me> all. <laughs> well, it's fantastic to talk to you. Thank you very much for taking the time Thank to pop you. in. Thank you. Thank you. And have, Thank a, have a great, great, great chance. We keep the fingers crossed for you. You don't do a mistake. You do the right dancing <laughs> for Chris. And Glenn, keep the notes good. positive. No mistakes. And yeah. <laughs> you have the, the most relaxing part of the job. Uh, I, I will not. <laughs> I will not get a heart attack. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm always like, Kevin, is it okay? Is it okay? I'm always telling him things. So, <laughs> but he's prepared. They're all prepared. I'm sure you do very well. It looked if brilliant. not, that's this morning on the stage, it looked fantastic from Thanks. standing in the Thank audience. You very much. So, so all the best of luck. Yes. Give it away to the, the camera as well. Yeah.